Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Uh, if you are, if you want to catch me live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you can catch me live every single day. Uh, also, I will have love and finance readings uh, coming out in just a few days, so definitely keep an eye out for those. But let's see what we have going on for you, Pisces, for the month of November. All right, yeah, cool. And let me just, let's keep going here. All right. Yeah. Some of you could be very, uh, you could be thinking about a breakup or something from the past. I feel like some of you are healing from your past as well. So again, if you've gone through a breakup, I feel like you are healing from that with this four of spades here. Um, but again, this could be you going through a breakup with the two of spades, thinking about it. Uh, this could also be you just changing. Again, two of spades is just, you know, I, I really consider the three of spades to be my card of the breakup or the five of spades. But um, to me, this is a card of general changes in your life. I do feel like a lot of you could be just making uh, general changes. This could be like, um, you know, this could be in regards to uh, health um, or work, pretty much anything in a lot of ways. Um, this could also be secrets coming out. Uh, you do have a lot of secret stuff here. So a lot of you could be learning secrets in a relationship or a past relationship at this time. But I do feel like there will be healing because of it with that four of spades. I want to clarify that whole thing. Yeah, two of clubs, deceit, you know, lies. Some of you could figure out that somebody from your past lied to you or, um, you know, that they weren't completely honest. Uh, it's not really a card of cheating, but you know, it could represent them, you know, some indiscretions. Let's put it that way. Now, this can actually be a good card as well because it can represent discussing a relationship. And, but, um, you know, I would say if somebody tries to come back to you at this time, they might be a little bit impatient. They might want to move things along like really quickly. And, but I would just say talk about it and, you know, kind of get the truth first is what I would say there. Uh, next you have the Ace of Diamonds. Really good card for money and changes. Look at this. Jack of Diamonds as well. Uh, definitely stepping off on a new financial path. I would say any of you Pisces that are starting a new business, um, you know, really good combination. This can represent some hesitations, but, um, the Jack of Diamonds, but it's still a good card. Um, this can also represent love. I, I do feel like there could be an earth sign coming in for you, uh, at this time. Queen of Diamonds, uh, Jack of Diamonds. So there could be somebody with heavy earth in their chart. And this could represent marriage. So, um, you know, again, this could be like a soulmate coming in for you at this time. This can also represent a beneficial partnership in finances as well. So any of you starting a business, any of you who have a business and have somebody coming in who wants to help you, uh, this says it would be a really good, um, you know, combination, really good thing for you. Uh, you're the only person I feel like this month that got the Ace of Diamonds. So I really feel like the sun is on you, Pisces. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. Um, you know, you could just be feeling brighter. You could be feeling better, happy, pretty much all those things. So I do feel like the sun is shining on Pisces at this time. Uh, next, you have the Five of Hearts. Everybody's been getting this card, and I don't know why, um, but the Five of Hearts can represent jealousy at work or people who are jealous of your situation. Um, that's not really what I'm feeling for you. Um, I, I feel like you are stepping off on a new path, and I don't. I feel like it's almost like family is not agreeing with what you're doing. It's like maybe you've been telling your family you're going to do one thing, and then you do want to do something else with like your business life or your work life, and your family is not agreeing with that. This card here says, do not listen. Again, Pisces, this is you. Look at fish feet right there. So this is you, Pisces, showing up. I feel like you need to trust yourself. I feel like you need to not let other people sway, sway your ideas, your opinions, anything like that. Um, because again, I feel like you know what is right to do at this time. And I feel like that's what this is saying. And again, I feel like this is saying disagreements with like family members or people. Again, maybe you went to school for one thing and now you want to change and your family's like, no, don't do that. Or your friends are telling you not to do it. Again, I always say this to Pisces, don't listen to anybody. Listen to yourself. Listen to your own intuition and that will guide you in the right direction. Next, you have the seven of spades and the queen of clubs. Again, uh, internal fears don't exist with the seven of spades. Um, uh, some of you could have fears about a relationship and I would say let those fears go. Again, maybe somebody in the past was like sne sneaky, very seductive. And again, you might have somebody new coming in for you who is very similar or could be somebody from your past with the cards we have here. Um, and again, maybe they're giving off the same energy. But this card would tell me that they are being more honest at this time and they are, uh, you know, different at this time as well. Uh, for others, this could be a friend. You know, again, it could be a friend coming in for you that maybe they were didn't tell you the truth about something or they were a little bit sneaky. But again, this is a card that says your fears do not exist. Um, what I will say is this could represent needing to avoid arguments, um, especially if you live with somebody. Um, this card says no arguments this month. You know, try to avoid arguments at this time because, again, they'll probably just go in the wrong direction. Next, you have the Queen of Diamonds. Card of the Crossroads. This card says 
if you have a choice between somebody old, somebody new, um, you know, pick the new person as far as dating is concerned, especially if somebody's trying to come back, but you have a new choice, pick the new choice with this card. Um, but really good card for money. It is a card of harvest for you, Pisces. Yep, card of the millionaire right here. So I feel like a lot of you could have really good ideas at this time. Now, this card says you're like touch, everything you touch turns to gold with the uh, Queen of Diamonds. So definitely put the work in. This is also a great card for research. So any of you that are researching new ideas or new things, you know, pay attention to that. What I will say is there could be a lot of gossip around you as well. Five of hearts, this card here, there could be, you could feel like there's a lot of people talking about you. I would just say ignore it. And I would say avoid judgmental people at this time as well. Again, um, you know, nobody is, nobody else, Pis people who are not Pisces do not understand Pisces. You know, Pisces is the chameleon. Every single Pisces is different. So I feel like people do not really understand us in the first place. So, you know, trust your own thoughts, trust your own ideas, um, trust the things that come in and don't listen to judgments or uh, anything like that that comes in towards you this month. Next, you have the uh, Nine of Spades with the Queen of Hearts. Look at that. Uh, letting go of the past leads to new love. So again, if you're holding on to somebody from the past, this could say, you know, somebody new is coming in. This could also be um, a blessing in disguise, Nine of Spades. So there could be some, you know, you could find out this month how a separation or leaving a job was actually a blessing in disguise for you last month. Um, you know, maybe it happened last month, maybe it happened a few months ago where you, you know, lost a job, had a separation. And again, maybe now you are seeing how that was actually a blessing. This is also you Pisces showing up as a Queen of Hearts. And this represents, again, two queens, harvest new energy coming in for you, Pisces, at this time. So I definitely like to see that for you as well. I also feel like you're going to be getting justice or the truth in a situation uh, that has been going on around you probably for, you know, quite a long time. I do feel like this is a card that says take breaks. I'm going to pull two more cards for you, Pisces. And, uh, yep. Uh, three of hearts. Yes. Number one. Uh, this is answering my question about taking breaks. I do feel like it, you know, uh, I feel like it's going to be important for you to take breaks this month. And I'm not surprised to see this either. Um, so I feel like it will be important for you. Like if you're working on a project to take a break and then re like assess everything that you're doing, look at everything you're doing and then move forward. Nine of clubs. Exactly what I just said. Card of experimentation. Everybody has had this card this month. I don't know what's going on with this card. And the five of hearts keeps coming up for everybody as well. But this is my card of like experimentation and needing to to try a bunch of new things um, in business, work, pretty much anything. And this could represent new love. This could also represent dating, these two cards here. So I do feel like there could be a water sign coming in for a lot of you Pisces at this time. Now, this could represent something long distance, but uh, the Nine of Clubs is actually the best card to get for a longer distance relationship because it does represent fate and uh, fate bringing the two of you together. So I really like this as well. Um, funny enough, this card can represent family. And it does say, again, don't listen to your family. You know, pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to what you want to do. And again, that's been like your main message. Also, the card of hard work. So I do feel like a lot of you um, will be working really hard at this time. I do feel like there's a ton of travel for Pisces again. Um, there's a ton of travel anyway in Pisces chart over the next year. So you have a lot of travel cards here and even movement cards. I would say, Pisces, you are the one sign where I feel like and uh, also Taurus, but you are the one sign where it's like if you're going to move, it'll probably be a surprise. So just keep that in mind as well. But looks like a great month. So thank you for watching and enjoy your November.